Hello everyone. Thanks everyone for being watching my videos. And I know some of you have been asking me for a tutorial on how to do them. So I it's finally done. In this tutorial, the objective is not to teach you how to how to work on 3ds Max. Is to teach you how to make a resin gun. Make sure first that you already have a notion on uh, on 3ds maxes and I'll try to explain so you can do it rightly and if you if you have any doubt on how to do it you can follow the link below the video and download the file of 3ds max I'm sorry for the audio quality or my English to it I, I think it's not very good but it's enough for you to understand and I recommend that you watch this video in high definition because you can see the options everything the numbers and it will make easier to understand the explanations so let's begin first hit F10 and check if the following options are like this assign the mental re-render you will need it enable the motion blur and set this, the numbers higher don't need if your PC cannot process it quicker then enable the output lens shader and assign the glare shader open the material editor then set everything to white mark the self illumination set it to white too and assign a map the glow shader glow loom and set ok set it to the color you want in this case blue then set the inside color to white Now create a sphere and then set the material you created to it. Make some copies, make some layers. This inner sphere will be the core of your resin gun. The outer layers set the visibility to zero and then create some more layers, making copies. Now let's open the particle view. This is a pretty hard part, so pay attention. I will try to explain so you can make your resin gun as good as you wish. I cannot grant you you will learn this because it's uh, really hard and you actually need to have some some knowledge about the particle systems on 3ds Max. So first, add an empty flow, then a birth event. Then set the numbers to around this and then link them. Now let's put a delete event. If you don't do it, uh, the particles will stay forever in the scene and that's not what we want. Let and, and then set the remove to particle age and then adjust the variation and the lifespan the lifespan to 30 and the variation to 10 will be enough add a material dynamic event and assign a material and this material is the one you've created now let's add a uh, position object this one will define from where your particles will be generated if you don't do it they will just not appear in this case we want them to come from all of those layers including the inside sphere now you have to add a shape if you don't do it the particles will be shown in the viewport but will not appear in the render so 
you have to choose the shape with the most fewer faces as possible in this case I'm using a tetrahedron and uh, that's best the best one I could find for this job if you if you set uh, a very high poly model it will be extremely heavy for your computer to process this will also decide the size of your particles when they are rendered so define them to be small they have to be shown as little dots on the screen at a fine target event this event will make all the particles generated to go to a specific object in this case the particles will be generated and will go to all of the layers this will make a, a great mess on the particles but that's the idea as you can see the particles are still disorganized so I have to make some adjustments yet the lock bond event will change the particle behavior they will be generated they will find the target and when it happens they will be locked to the object you've defined link the find target to the lock bond event and then select once again all the layers of the spheres now the particles are inside the sphere that's good they are normally moving but the lock bond event is almost like a separate particle system they still need the features of the the birth event you see those particles are just the birth event the lock bond are they are not showing on the render so just let's raise a little bit we need some more particles to the birth event so copy the material event, the shape event and the delete event no that's ok, let's render now they are all being shown let's close here they are still a little big so it's good to reduce the the shape the objects now few adjustments the latch event it's okay good they are moving now mark those options on the lock bone event And now the particle the particles will follow the animation of the objects. You see that? So you have to change all of them, each one animating. Just adjust. Great. Make sure all of them are moving. Remember that the lock bond event, the particles are stopping on the surfaces and following its animation. This option have to be checked so it will have a good looking. It's okay, everything okay, let's render it. way this is a tough process so be patient it can get heavy in some machines still need some more particles the display here it can 
be some heavy on the viewport so you can reduce the display to around 10 percent so it will be easier to work here you can fix the objects animation using those curves it's not very hard you just make the them straight lines like this you don't really need to do this this is just a a final adjustment so it can get a little better it's not really needed Just yeah. So can you raise a little bit the amount of particles? Render. The more particles you put in the scene, the heavier you bec will become. This process here it's it is accelerated because it actually takes a long time to process that's the final result so that's it this is the rendered video you can click on those on this link in this page to go to the original video see how it looked before and thank you for watching and subscribe my channel please